Hi guys. Well, that must be close to nine o'clock. It's getting pretty okay. close. Yes. So are we? Uh, you are live. Are we live? You are live. Excellent. So welcome YouTube. You guys will see this in a day or two. Welcome Facebook Live. We are here and uh, going. It's, it's first, first LTS of the year. It is. Yeah. Happy yeah. New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. We. Uh, so those of you that don't know, in uh, November, December, we don't do these live training sessions. But for the rest of the year, uh, Lord willing, we'll be doing them last Saturday of every month. We generally uh, kind of, uh, uh, the itinerary basically is we do a few minutes of kind of intro. This is Dave. That's what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Eric. Vicky's behind the camera in case you don't know us. And um, so we'll do a few minutes and let enough people kind of chime in. Um, then Dad's going to go into his kind of 10 minute, 15 minute. Yeah, we just do a little, on these LTSs, we just do a little live stuff so that you get some idea who we are and what we do. And if we have, if we have something new like we've got today uh, or something different like we're going to have a drawing, uh, we just like to do that live on camera so you can see what's going on. And if you see me looking back and forth, it's because we're filming with two cameras. One camera will be for the, the Facebook or the, for the, the one we post, and the other one is live as, as it's happening. So, Yep, and um, I see Vicki shaking her head back there. No, I'm just trying to figure out. Keep going. Do you have some okay. people starting to chime in? Good. Excellent. So then uh, Dad will do, uh, yeah, after this part, Dad will do kind of his little five or ten minute thing? Yeah, I just got some I want to show you. I'm, I'm developing something new because I've got I've got the lasers and I've got so much money tied up in them I thought I might as well do something with them. So I'm just doing a little project on the lasers and I want you to know about it. Alright, it says we're sideways. Oh, what'd you say? I'm, I'm just keep going. I'm just talking. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so Vicky's dealing with the Facebook Live thing. Um, and then after Dad gets done with his, I'm going to come on and do a couple demos where I'm firing up the router and showing a couple things. And then uh, I'm going to show a couple uh, little things that we're doing. So, um, babe, I wonder if you can, uh, that tripod allows you to turn, to, you know, uh, swivel that thing. All right, bear with me, guys. Hang on, guys. Because we're sideways, so... You know, because it's got a notch in the side. This? I wonder, yeah. And then the notch is like there. All right. Hey, look at that. I wonder if that's going to work. We've never done it that way. Well, but. even if we don't, it's kind of neat. Yeah. Well, that's a neat thing. That's a pretty good tripod. It's not yeah. like our not like our big fancy one, but it is actually a pretty decent tripod that will allow you to do that. All right, you guys. Are we now right side up, or are we still sideways? <laughs> it's different. Now it looks different. Ain't technology great? Well, we yeah. haven't done it in two months. Yeah. So I don't know if yeah, I mean, it might have all changed in the last 60 days since all we right, did one. Because we're better, so. Okay, all right. So um, I think, Dad, I'm going to let you kind of, I'm going to get out of the way and let you do your little deal, and then I'll come back in. And okay, if you, while I'm doing this, if you can think of. As a viewer, if you can think yeah. of some questions somebody might want want to ask, uh, just go ahead and ask it, and I'll try to answer. Perfect. It. Uh, so Sounds you, good. You don't need to be on the camera to do that. So. All right, I'm out the way. Okay. To begin with, this is uh, I buy these vases out of China, but everything else I make. So um. I think Eric and Vicky showed this. This is this is the the sign that we're going to give away. Now, you, can you see the light on it? Uh, yeah, trying. it's um, it's kind of okay. There's a little button on the front here that I can push, and it will show the different lights that this thing shows up in. Different colors, yeah. Different colors, and I get to a certain one, and then they'll flash one after the other. And it's just, uh, I don't know, I think I have to push it about seven times for it to start flashing. 
But then you have there a is flashing. You have a now it's flashing seven too. different colors. Is that showing up on the camera? I don't. Know. I can't tell. I, a little bit maybe. Uh, if I had something black behind it, it. It's all right. Just go ahead. Okay. Now you have another option with it. Is it comes with a remote control. Uh, I don't. I don't play around with the remote control. But if you, you know, like if you have it in your have one of these lights in your kids room or in the bathroom and you want to turn it on and off with the remote control it comes with a remote control it also comes with a little old USB cord that you can plug it into your computer or if you have a phone charger uh, this will plug into the phone charger and you can plug it in any 110 volt outlet oh, excuse me we're gonna do a, a disclaimer Right now it's showing that we're trying to reconnect to the internet. So if it goes off, we're just going to keep going. We're still video or taping it, so you will see it at the end of the weekend. But have patience. Our internet is uh, blinking this morning. So Yeah, our internet sometimes out here in the desert is not as reliable as it could Mostly be. Mostly just when we want to do a LTS. So. Yeah, right. But anyway... That's what this one, and this one right here that you see right here, this is the one that we're going to, to we're going to give away on a drawing later on. But just to give you some idea, here's one that I make just with a person's name. Now, does that show up good on the camera? Uh, actually, I mean, it shows up, it shows up pretty good right here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Because I've got this black box over here if you want to put it inside the black box, but... Well, it probably couldn't hurt, but... Uh, you could, you could uh, peel this, this up. How about that, how about that black uh, rag back there? Oh, yeah, let me have that. I'll just use that in my lap and I'll pick it up and put it behind it. And it, that's, this should show up better. Yeah, I think it does. Okay. Yeah. Now that's, this is one just with a name on it. That's all there is on that one. That's a guy's name. Here's one with a girl's name. Uh-huh. Yeah. And these things just slip in and out of the base, no problem at all. I, that's, that's the way I make them. And if you want one for your car, uh, if you want to put it in the back window of, of your car, or uh, <laughs> make, make it a... a Put it on the hood as a hood ornament. It doesn't matter. It just gives you some idea what what you can do. And that was a Ford, and this is for the Chevrolet. Oh, I didn't I didn't show the black background on the Ford. I mean, no, put that back in there and hold this up so it gives a little bit better idea. And these colors that are flashing, uh, they can be you can be set as a certain color. If you want it red all the time, it could be red. And this just gives you some yeah, idea of what it looks like when it's a... These really are designed as a nightlight. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to... That's what I'm going to call them, is a nightlight. And so in a, in a kid's room or on a shelf at night in a room, they show up great, like in a man cave or something like that. That's the way they show up. And what's if somebody wants to order one of these, uh, how do they do it? Uh, well, this one, I believe, is going to be on the website. So you can order this on the website. They're $19.95 or $20. Other uh, kind of an add-on for orders that you might order router bits or whatever. You can add these on. If you order them by themselves, they're seven fifty dollars shipping and handling on top of the $19.95. Now, the same type of thing, uh, if you ordered it, like on Amazon or one of the other places, uh, they run for around $24 or $25, but... As far as I know, nobody's doing any customizing on them. They're making them with unicorns or, or Batman or something. They're not doing any customizing on them. So I decided to make mine custom. So that just gives you some idea. And then, uh, let's see, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Oh, how, how would they order other than that? Yeah, they just get in touch with me. If you want to order one with your name on it or as a present for somebody, I also make them in this oval, I make them with scriptures on them, like uh, Joshua 24, 15, uh, 
as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. I've got one of those made. I, I don't have it here, but uh, and then I have things like uh, nursery rhymes. Now I lay me down to sleep for a kid's room, something like that. So if you want something special, just let me know. And the 1995 price on them is for text only. If you want to get involved in uh, logos or something like that for your business or for whatever, but if it's if it's something other than text, then there will be an additional charge for the graphics. And it the charge will depend on what the graphics are. But the lasers can do some pretty amazing things. So... So if they if they wanted, for instance, one of those Chevrolets, or they wanted something that said uh, uh, Johnson or something like that, how do they go about getting those? They can just get in touch with me. How do they get uh, in touch with you? You can get in touch with me at my email at dave at davesigns.com. Uh, I've got a, a new website being developed right now. It's not done. The guy that's building it for me is... Uh, is doing a good job, but he's uh, not quite as, as fast as I would like. But my new website is going to be getterdone.biz. See this getterdone on my hat? Well, that's what my new website is, getterdone.biz. So it's just still under construction. I'll also have another YouTube channel uh, so that I'll show, a lot of times I'll show different things on the YouTube channel, and that'll be just short videos like, you know, 20 or 30, 30 second video showing each, each item. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And then one other thing, I don't know, can you zoom in on this? Guys, uh, if you're seeing this, you're probably seeing it on YouTube because our uh, Facebook feed is... Uh, Absolutely horrible today. Our LT, LTS may not be showing up all that good. So anyway, uh, go ahead, Dad. I'm sorry. Go is, ahead. Is it is it it's done? done? I got it. Okay, you got it. This is a it's a back scratcher. I, these are just bamboo back scratchers, and one nice thing about bamboo is it engraves really nice on it on the uh, on the laser. So I bought a bunch of these, and I thought, well, I'll just uh, I'll make some up. If you want a back scratcher. And I, I'm assuming you can see what it says, but it says sawdust makes me happy and sometimes a little itchy. So this is uh, the bass scratchers are available. I think they're like five bucks a piece, uh, five ninety five, something like that as an add on to an order. Uh, they'll be on the website. They'll correct? be on the website. Don't uh, don't order one by itself because there'll still be seven fifty shipping and handling. So. Just use it as an add-on to an order if you want one. They're pretty, pretty nice. They, uh, they actually they work, work good. really good. Yeah. So I, I use mine quite often. So that's uh, I recovered the remote control. We're going to have the drawing, and that's about all or, all the news that so I have. We we talked about the drawing, but the drawing is going to be at the end of this video or toward yeah, the end. Yeah, And that'll be for premium members. Yeah, for premium members that. Uh, the premium members are going to get this as we, the one I've got my finger on right now. We're going to send that out uh, to one of our premium members. Uh, this is what we're going to do, try to do from now on. We're going to have uh, a monthly thing for our premium members and for premium members only. So if you want to get involved in a drawing of different things that we make and give away, uh, get your premium membership. Along with that, of course, you get your free router bit sharpenings. You get your free template of the month, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of benefits to being a premium member. So that's about all I've got to say, son. Are you going to come back in here now? Yep, I am. All right, I'll wait till you get here before okay. I leave. All right. Just keep talking. Please. Okay. All right. So um, we are having major issues with uh, Facebook Live today. It just does does not want to work. It's for a few seconds on, few seconds off. So Vicky has left the building, so to speak, for a minute. She's going to go make a real quick post um, within Facebook and let you guys know I that... Better, uh, I better get over there behind that camera and see if you're even no, on it. No, I'm in frame because oh, I, 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 I know what it is. So right, well, um, I'll get out of here and let you... Yeah, you, you, but if you, you want to look and make sure, because I'm going to I'm gonna start setting my thing up here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna but move. anyway... So we, we so apologize, you know, again, that's one of the reasons that we double film this thing because it's really, uh, 
sometimes it works great sometimes it uh, doesn't work worth a darn so Vicki went in right now I think um, at about 9 15 our time to uh, to make a post that um, uh, for whatever reason that uh, Facebook feed live is not working well for us today at all so far I don't know it might be back on by now but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up for for what I'm gonna do so the first thing that we're gonna do that I'm gonna show is our our new layout template set so this is one Vicky's been wanting to do for quite a while so we have a new layout template set that I think she's calling Southwest so I carved these the other day these are the layout templates and this is what they look like carved <clears throat> is that iPhone seem to be doing anything or was it, it just went off and it's just trying to reconnect yeah yeah so um, it was on though okay well um, if you can uh, can you see all of this okay oh, yeah I okay, got all good. of that in frame okay good so anyway this is uh, the new set there's 10 of them just like all of our other sets are 25 bucks uh, or 350 each if you want to buy them individually but um, they're fun to carve now these I carved all inset of course but if you uh, you can carve them outset whichever way you like I, I tend to like them kind of silhouette look uh, inset in this particular case so um, your internet is not off my internet's not off no I, I, I would suspect that it's just our connection with Facebook and not necessarily the internet oh, maybe. my internet anyway so um, so you carved those with the with the 60 degree <clears throat> these are all carved with a 60 degree the the outside or the inside and then the the background everything every bit of this was done with a 60 degree bit so um actually fun to carve and uh, they'd be a nice addition if you're doing western stuff or southwestern stuff so that is that part of it i will get this stuff out of the way and then i'll get into my demo part What I'm saying is you were going to turn off your internet. Now. I disconnected. Anyway. So, uh, it's next. On. We're on. We're on. All right. So, since we're on, guys, we apologize. It's been going in and out, in and out. Obviously, you guys know that. So, it will be, um, it will be, you know, posted by the end of the weekend, hopefully, you know, on YouTube. We're going to do what we can. So what I'm going to do here is I get questions all the time about apostrophes. Uh, when to use them, when not to use them, and how to call them. So, uh, first of all, grammatically, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dad, uh, grammatically this is incorrect. Grammatically, an uh, uh, English professor would say that it, the apostrophe is possessive of one. Right. Now, if this was didn't have the the on it, and it says Martin's room, it would be correct. Okay. But a lot of people want to show that their name doesn't end with an S. Yeah. And so popular usage makes this correct. It's like the word ain't. For years, ain't was not even in the dictionary. But popular usage makes it correct. So this is the way most people want their name to show with the apostrophe S. But if you're selling a sign to an English teacher, uh, they might not want it. What my and, and I again. And if this is if a, way, a real snotty English teacher. They'll try to give you a lecture on why you shouldn't use it, but don't pay any attention to them. Anyway, there's, there's more people like us than there are like them. Anyway, so what I do is I just basically say it's your sign. You can have it the way you want. If a customer asks me, I tell them what the rule is, and then let them decide however they want it. But so that's that's uh, that. Now, how I carve them? Um, somebody was asking what size uh, do I make them? Well, it would be it would depend on the size of the letters. Now I'm not going to lay these out, 
But what I'm going to do is is. Can you move? You got kind of a glare from the light. Move it oh. to what? There we go. That's better. Is that better. That's better. So if I was, if here's what I do. Let's say these are laid out, and I actually I could just spray them real quick and lay them out. But let's say these are laid out. I just, uh, if they're laid out, what I would do is I would just draw a circle. That would be um, in proportion to what size the letters are. And that's all, that's all just, you know, your, your call on that. But the way I carve these, and I'll, I'll get ready to carve them here in a second. I'll carve one outset and one inset so you guys can see the difference between the two. Um, but how big you make them, just make them in proportion, you know, eyeball it in proportion. Now, if you want to use a little washer, a small washer for this one and a big washer for that one, you can do that. But I, after I spray, I would pencil in a circle where I want the apostrophe to go. And then I would just, I would just basically carve it. So I'm going to grab my, uh, grab my profile bit here real quick. I'm not even going to put on my cheaters or anything. I'm just going to grab my profile bit. Oh, I need to turn my base around so you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, the internet is just not going to cooperate today at all. Just ain't working. No, huh? people right. are... Now it's on again. So, uh, if it's on when you guys hear this, you know, check YouTube before the end of the weekend, and hopefully it will be, we'll have this whole video on there. Hi, John. All right, so we are just going to carve an apostrophe where that, uh, an outset apostrophe where that circle is. Yeah. And that's really all there is to it. Oh, it just takes a little practice. This board was kind of sliding on me a little bit. I don't think I wiped my bench off too well. So that's an outset. So literally, I just put a tail on the bottom of a, of a circle. And now inset, that was my profile bit that I used there. So inset, I'm just going to use my 60 degree. And oops, I've got this one. I know, I think you can see that. Yeah, hang on. Okay. Adjust my depth. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Sorry, you guys. Gone. All right. So here's my here's my inset I apostrophe. Can't. And that's it. And uh, what I would suggest, guys, if you really have an issue with doing these, just set up a board and do a whole bunch of them and get kind of used to the feel of the way the router is. You can see on that, I kind of lifted the, if you go back and watch, I kind of lifted it as I was pulling it out, and that's what gives you that sharp, um, that sharp point on there. But it's super simple to do. I know I make it look really simple for you, those of you that are just starting, but just practice, just get a, a board and just start practicing with them. Um, but it's really not that difficult to do. So you just, you know, you would make your, um, you know, you would make your apostrophe just based on how big your letters are. I'm doing this upside down, so that probably looks kind of goofy, but anyway. So obviously smaller or bigger. That's that's about all there is to it, guys. All right. Try to make it above the line, though. Above the line of what? The line of the top of the letters. Yeah. The apostrophe, you, know, you had it. Lined up. Did yeah. I have them there like that? Yeah, you had them like that. Just, oh. just yeah, slightly. they should. The circle should be above the line. Yeah, yeah, slightly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. For that. I appreciate you pointing that out. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what I was. I was focused on something else. All right. So next, I'm going to do a little demo on. This is actually the template of the month for the premium members. This is going to be the You're template the of the glare. month. Huh? You're in the glare. Oh, I'm in the glare again. Is that better? So. That's the template of the month Can you for. Hold, just hold it up here. We got it. Huh? Just right there. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so that's the template of the month for the month of February. So I'm going to carve that real quick. 
Hopefully the board won't move around on me too much. I need I'm, a, I'm not going to zoom in or uh, touch this because we're on right now. We're actually broadcasting we are, right so now. So I'm just going to just leave it and yeah. carve away. All right. So uh, let me lay this out real quick. I pre-shook this a few minutes ago, so it should be fine. Now, my, I, I've carved this a couple different ways, and I'll show you guys in a minute here. I know I'm out of messing with you here, but so there's. Uh, in the sun. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to... that that sun glare right there just kind of messes everything up. So um, you can carve these uh, so many different ways. I see them as kind of almost like tipped together and doing a double you know uh like a toast kind of thing but there's any all, all kinds of different ways you can do it um but i'm going to uh i'm going to use my profile bit and uh, i'm going to back it off a little bit because it's pretty deep <clears throat> bear with us guys uh, all right let's I just don't want, I'm doing this just because that, uh, that black is not, uh, not drying real fast. It's still kind of chilly out here this morning. Uh, I don't want that black to come off on my, on my router base. It'll come off a little bit, but it won't be bad. All right. Let's carve that thing. You want me to move into the shade a little bit? We got yeah, sun coming in from the side there. Is this a little bit better? Yeah. All right. So, uh, I think we're all right there. when I do I carve this outset obviously a lot of times when I do this I will go back with a 90 degree and I'll make a big fat line around there I'm not going to do that right now but um, you can imagine it sometimes that makes it stand out really well um, and I could do that but I don't have the 90 degree set up right now although I do have my 60 what are we doing on time uh, we still got to do the drawing huh mm -hmm. yeah I got to uh, have hour yeah, I know, we but question it. well, oh. that's assuming we're, we're on we're, now. Are we so. actually live right now? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. So I am going to do, uh, oops, I need to turn that around so you guys can see a little bit better. Go too soon. So this is what I'm looking for. This is outset just like I just did. So I'm going to spray that real quick. And then while it's drying. If somebody wants to know how fast you run your router bit, how fast do you go with it? Well, I keep it a pretty much as steady. I know what you're asking. I'm just being smart, Alec. Um, <laughs> you mean the spindle speed. Yeah. Correct. Right. 
Always full speed, guys. Always full speed. If yeah, you have a wood. variable speed router, keep it at full speed. Yeah, always full speed if you have a variable speed. If, if it were my druthers, I wouldn't have a variable speed, but they don't make these in single speed. So, um, anyway, that's what it looks like after I spray it. Now what I'll do is I'll sand it off, and it'll look basically like that, but better because it's going to have a big fat line around it. Now, normally I do that big fat line. Normally I do that with a 90 degree, but I didn't have one set up, so I just went deep with a 60 degree, and it still gives the same kind of effect. So are we still live? Oh, wow. It's in and out? Yeah. Okay. Well, anywho. Um, and then, uh, so all I do with that, with uh, the red, all I'm doing is really using a red marker to do that. So, um, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, that'll give you an idea. As this dries, I'm going to show something else. We just, um, you guys know that if you've been watching over the last couple weeks, the last week, you know I'm working on a, a flag project. This is a flag project that I'm working on. Monday's video will be showing coloring this in blue and coloring the stripes in red. So you'll see that on Monday. I'm going to uh, finish that up and then we're going on to the next process after that. However, so I don't want you to get confused with what I'm going to show you right now because this is a, uh, another flag that I just carved the other day. Okay. Now on this one, the reason I'm even showing this is because I wanted to, you know, on this one I did a uh, flat bottom, which well, is not normally my real thing. Quick, we're on. Can you explain? The difference again. yeah this is the project that I'm working on that will be finished up hopefully by the end of next week you'll see the coloring on this project this is separate than this other flag you'll see the coloring on this on Monday and on this one I'm doing flat bottom but this is a um, we've got so many people that are asking this is a flag that I just carved the other day and we have a brand new layout template um, just to lay this out so anyway, this is separate. That is, and it's basically the same size, but it's a little bit bigger. Anyway, so this you'll see on Monday. You'll see me kind of finishing that up. But we have a brand new layout template that um, that goes in in regards in that. This is how I laid this one out. Again, it's pretty much the same as my other project, except I used a sixty degree and had the kind of the grooves within the stripes there, which I really like. I think I like that better than the flat bottom, but everybody, you know, some people like the flat bottom better, so. Could you turn that around and hold that up against the back of the board? Oh, the layout template, yeah. well, this, yeah, well, I can. Like that? Yeah, just so they can see it, yeah. Yeah. That's how the whole thing lays out. So it's a two-piece thing, so if you wanted to, say, take this field of stars and put it somewhere else, it actually, that's the reason we made it in kind of two pieces. So you can do it as a complete flag, or you can take that field of stars and put it on someone, something else if you wanted it uh, separate from the stripes. Anyway, it carves really, really well. I used the, um, on the carving on this, much like I did my big project, uh, I used the SC50 in the profile bit in the field of stars. Um, yeah, the SC50, the profile, and then the 60 actually. For the little places where I had to take extra out, I used the 60 degree. And then this was all done with the 60 degree bit. The, uh, the grooves and the taking the extra out. But anyway, this uh, layout template will be on the website uh, by the end of the weekend. And that's 25, I think, on the layout template, if that's something that uh, is of use to you. It's a really fast way to lay out a, to lay out a flag. So that is that. Um, how are we doing on time? We're still, we're still doing okay. Bob we, Colt, Kelt from the UK. Say hi, Bob. Who is it? Bob? Bob from the UK. From hey, Bob. There. I know it's a little bit later over there right now than it is here. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, bear with me <laughs> yeah. while we're Good luck while we have now. it. Yeah, who knows how long it'll last. All right. So, let me see here. I think I can probably... Uh, I don't know. You're running out of time. Yeah, I know we're running out of time. Let me wipe some of that off. Yeah, 
that's not wanting to dry on me. So I may do that at the end if we have time. We may do that, that at the end. Right now, I think, what do we have to do next, babe? We got the drawing? Yep. Yeah, let's do the drawing. So come on over, Dad. We're going to give this uh, sawdust makes me happy thing away to, to one of our premium members. So hopefully you see it. We stay live broadcasting as we announce the name of who wins this Rich, thing. where's the sign? Uh, what'd you do with your... Uh... Oh, oh, we need to have that on the bench, please. <laughs> We're so professional, aren't we? Yeah. Internet's proof of that. Yeah. We're going to let you draw the ticket, Dad. Yeah, of course we What you looking for? That yeah, remote control. Well, it's on already. Yeah. I know, but I, well, but I put it's all it right, right up here with the stuff, and now it's not there. That's okay. We don't need that. We just need the drawing. I don't know where it went then. To put it in the drawer. Nah. Well, I put it all up there. It must have moved when you were. <laughs> when you're moving stuff around, yeah, maybe move, maybe. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw a ticket. Every one of these tickets has a number on it, and it corresponds to a specific name. You're gonna call the name then when we, because but you have to show how no. we're. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got a couple of them stuck in there. So. Are we ready yeah. to draw? Yep. Did, We're, did it go back off again? Yeah. Oh. Of course it did. Perfect timing. Well, you want to stall for a minute and see if it comes back on? No. We'll just... Well, we don't really have time for questions and answers. we got nothing to... Or you've got time if we don't have questions. Yeah, if we don't well, this have is, Yeah, this is not going to take very long if we get back on. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll, you want me to sand off that wine glass thing? Because yeah. I can. Yeah. All right. I'll sign, sand you're off the wine glass. You're going to get sawdust all over this sign if you do that, son. Well, all over what sign? That sign? Yeah. Move it up there. We'll it's wipe off. everything off. aside. All right. Change your plans. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going with the flow here. Oh, now, wait. Oh, we're back on. Stop. Oh, we're back on. Wait. Oh. Change plans. Change plans. Back again. <laughs> This Jeez. is crazy. Guys, you have We're no idea. with the flow, guys. Just you have no idea the, the stress that Vicky goes through during this whole thing. Oh, you found your remote. Good. Okay. Let's let's All right, so let's do it. Let's do it while we got it. Pick a okay. ticket. Pick a ticket. I shook this up and I'm gonna dig down in the bottom and get a ticket. Okay, come on. Ah just keep going. Just All go. right. <laughs> I think I think it just went off again. Oh so, man. I've got a ticket. Alright. And no, no, no. Read the other the side. The back. Oh. Yes. And the number is 191. One. Wow. 191. I had to turn it over to make sure it wasn't 161, one, but it's 191. One. All right. So that would be. Hold on. Robin Taylor. 191. He I mean, just, he's a new he group. just became a uh, he or she I don't even it might well, be a she. he or she, he or she be, just became a new premium member just within days I think yep. just within the last couple of days congratulations Robin Robin uh, send us an email member. or we we have your I've email you. or your your uh, your address and everything we'll be shipping this thing out to you uh, post haste probably yeah. Monday, not today but it, yeah probably it, Monday morning yeah, we'll ship this Monday. out to you so congratulations, Robin. And uh, since we're here and we're talking directly to the to the audience, thanks so much, everybody, for being a premium premium member. For those of you that don't know what premium membership is, it's basically ten bucks a month. And for that ten bucks, you get uh, quite a few features, uh, quite a few benefits. But the biggest one is that uh, we will sharpen your router bits at no charge. 
So normally, and you get a monthly, uh, a monthly jump. Yeah, you get the and like the wine glass. Discount. Yeah, yeah, you get a five percent discount on all your orders. Um, if you buy bits from us, if you don't, if you have router bits somewhere else, we don't sharpen those. But if they're bits that are bought from us, we will sharpen them. However many you have, however many times you need them sharpened, we will sharpen those for you for free at no charge for that ten bucks a month subscription. It's kind of like a, one of those box things. We still charge for freight. Yeah, to ship them back to you. But Seven dollars. There's yeah. no charge on the sharpening, and that, that saves you a substantial amount. If you have uh, if you have router bit sharpened, you know what uh, you know what it costs. Yeah, if we if you can, we'll sharpen your bits. If you're not a premium member, but it's seven dollars per bit. So if you have two bits sharpened per month, if you're using them, uh, if you're not using them, it doesn't make sense. But if you're using router bits and you have two bits uh, sharpened per month, that saves you. Uh, a bunch of money by being a premium member because you can have okay. a dozen bits and Real send quick. them in. Yes. We're live again. So Robin Taylor, Robin a new Taylor. premium member, is the winner of the sign. So uh, she was uh, number one ninety one. She gets the nightlight. Robin Taylor. She or hey. he? We don't know if it's well, Robin. He might or be she? A, yes. Yeah. And you get the. The remote control and the USB cord with it as well. Yeah. Yes, I know you guys. We are having nothing but problems today, so I apologize. Have patience. Do you have any questions right now? As it goes out. Yeah. Just as it goes out. So, um, guys, we will. Uh, I'm I just gonna stop. I I don't know what um, why we're having such difficulty <clears throat> with the Facebook live today, but it's. Uh, it's been a debacle. Like somebody said here, it's painful. Yeah. Painful. So I just stopped the yeah. live feed. Okay. We're just going so with the video. That is, uh, unfortunately, we don't, uh, you know, we can we can go into some stuff. I guess I could go ahead and finish this up, um, we can which I will. Um, or we're done with the drawing, so uh, we can put that ticket back in the bucket, I think. We're going to need that for next month. So every month, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give one of these... Uh, uh, right now, we're thinking we're going to give one of these Sawdust Makes Me Happy away every month to a premium member. So um, if you guys are want to uh, want, have any questions on it, let us know. Stay on this end if you can, please. Stay on this end? Yeah, that, so. yeah that's what my plan is because that's where I'm going to be saying in that thing. So let me uh, grab my sander real quick. I haven't really planned on doing this, but we've got a few minutes. And... Uh, Again, you guys, so apologize for the Facebook thing not working out today. But fortunately, it's <laughs> No, it won't. It goes on. It goes. It's just off, and then it's on for 10 or 15 seconds, and goes off. I'm just people are leaving snide remarks. Well, we can only do what we can do. Yeah, no, anyway, I mean, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's all right. So what I do here, <clears throat> just like I had mentioned, like it's on the other side, I basically just kind of draw that. Uh, with the pen, I'm winging it here. And these these permanent markers aren't really permanent as far as on wood, but that looks pretty cool. That gives kind of a and and for me, if I was doing this it, uh, up in Oatman, I used to do a lot of these. And it would say like uh, uh, mom's sippy cup or, or grandma grandma's sippy cup, which is kind of a cool little uh, cool little niche thing to do. Let me put that behind there so they can see that. There, there we go. Anyway, just a little marker. And this is not really a sharpie. It's just a cheap little. I think I got a pack of them for like a buck at uh, Walmart. But uh, then I would put the finish right over the top of that, the clear finish. Anyway, that is it for that. But see how, you know, here, it, this is an example. See how that's got a nice, it kind of just sets sets it off having that bold line around there as compared to 
just the single line. This doesn't look bad, but I, I really like that much, much better. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just think that just for makes the 10, it stand 15 out. seconds that it takes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it well, well worth the extra time. Just kind of sets it line. off. Yeah, yeah. kind of sets it off. Now, you could actually take your, your bit and you could actually carve that line in there. I just don't think it's necessarily. Well, it would be black, though. It would be black. Yeah, and, you don't and, need that. And that would just be kind yeah. of. Kind what, of what you did there makes you look great. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. That is it, boys and girls. I think we are done. Dad, you want to come over? We'll say uh, adios and goodbye, and uh, we're sorry <laughs> for the, the whole live thing. Man, I was really excited about doing the Q&A. That's, that's always our favorite part, yeah, is doing the Q&A. &A. Let's, let's try to go from memory. We should, we should do something on this, and we could say we've got questions and have them written down and have them ready for just in the event that, that we go offline. Well, we used but, to do that. But, but we do have questions. We've got questions like I mentioned earlier when, when Eric was carving. Uh, a lot of people, that especially newbies, don't quite understand that you don't, even though you have a variable speed router, if you're routing in wood, keep it at the maximum all the time. Uh, if you're if you're going to cut aluminum, slow it down. Plastics. Uh, plastic, slow it down a little. Uh, but if you're in wood, keep it at the maximum. Twenty-eight to thirty-two thousand is uh, is just about right for wood. So don't. Slow and that's it down. whether it's softwood or even oak or. What, what else have you got questions on? Oh gosh, I get questions. Um, <laughs> I, got a, I get questions every day, dozens of questions every day. Yeah, we, we, um, we really need to start writing these down rather than just fumbling around here like we're doing now because uh, we're not live. Yeah. Uh, um, what kinds of woods to use? Um, I use basically, here's the deal, is I use what's available to me. I buy almost all of my material I buy at Lowe's um, and I have pine, that's what this is. Pine, uh, select pine is what I like. They have a cheaper version of pine that they call white wood. At least that's what they call it here. I don't care for it. It warps, it, it bends, it, and it uh, it just doesn't, I just don't like yeah, it's it. it's not kiln dried. It's just yeah. Uh, well, I don't even know that this is kiln dried. Yeah, a lot, a lot of our cedar is not kiln dried. It's, it's fencing material, but we dry it out before we make signs. So um, I use pine. I use the cedar fencing, like the layout templates that we were showing. That's cedar fencing. Um, I use redwood, generally uh, two-inch thick redwood, because that's all we have available to us here as far as redwood. That's any kind of a decent price. But, you know, I get questions all the time from people around the country or, uh, or even internationally. What kind of woods should I use? You know, I don't know what you have. I don't know what you have available. So here's here's how I found the cedar fencing. I was just looking around. I was being open-minded and just kind of looked around. See what you have available to you. Maybe you've got something available to you that I don't even have access to that, that might work good and it's inexpensive. And So just pick up pieces of different stuff and experiment. That's now Down in the southern states, you use basswood a lot. Uh, Carvers that you know that that carve statues and stuff uh, wood. Uh, it doesn't carvers. route that well it, though. It, well, it doesn't route that well, but it doesn't have a grain to pull on it. So no, uh, but, it, but ba basswood is uh, is a very common wood. You can use it uh, down in the south a lot. Uh, how also, about, how about uh, how about your spray? What do you use? Uh, ink ink as opposed to uh, primer. Mar Marsh ink um, is is. What I use a lot, but then I also use the Rust-Oleum primer, which is what I just sprayed this with. Now, and you, and you get that at Walmart. I'm buying that at Walmart right now, but you can probably find it online. But it, um, it's about half the price of the. Of actually, the Marsh not, no, it's not that much different now. Oh, okay. But but it is available to most people locally, whereas the Marsh Ink is only pretty much online, okay. so you don't have shipping involved in that. But here's the thing, don't use, or I don't use, this is all just on our recommendations, don't use it if it says paint slash primer. That has never worked out for me. I've tried it and it bled and uh, I just didn't, it yeah, didn't work out. Don't use paint. Uh, a lot of times you, when you <coughs> see our videos, they don't see all the details. 
Uh, Vicky's Question. telling us, hold on a second. Somebody asked, is it always, there?" because I'm reading the comments. Oh, okay. So they asked, is your internet always like this or just every so often? It is not always like this. It's just... No. No, sometimes the internet is just, everything is fine. And it's actually, just, uh, it, I don't know that it's just the internet. Um, that was a congratulations thing, I think, oh the way that gosh. sounded. I don't know if it was just the internet, because our internet very seldom fails, but I think somehow just the Facebook internet. Yeah, thanks a lot, Zuckerberg. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I think it's just the Facebook internet, uh, much like the, the Instagram uh, internet. When I try to post stuff on Instagram, it's... It's crazy bad connection out here. So well, I, I and we know. are in a pretty remote area. But we have Golden Valley Cable, who is sending the signal back and forth to us, <clears throat> and it comes off of a dish. We're not we're not directly connected with a with a you know a hardwired cable, uh, so we're, we're sort of like on a remote dish. Yeah. So that that could have something to do with it. Okay, so that is it. Uh, one last thing. <clears throat> Next month, February 25th, Vicki and I are going to be in, Atla in Atlanta, and we're doing a meetup. So we're going to be at the Marriott Marquis on the 25th, and uh, that's the day that we're going to do the meetup, right? That's a Sunday, and it's going to be 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to be somewhere within the Marriott Marquis uh, in Atlanta, because we're going to be there for the workbench. At Atlanta, Club. Georgia. Yes. Uh, work for our other Atlantis. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and it's going to be the um, we're going to be at that conference, that Workbench Con conference, and we're going to have Sunday pretty much free. We're going to be doing some stuff, but we're going to be doing a meetup right there at the Marriott Marquis. We'll There's another Marriott the too. Before. Huh? We'll let them know the Friday somehow. Post. Yeah, and so what we're going to do is we're going to scope out the grounds because we're going to be there from Thursday through Sunday. We're going to scope out the grounds on uh, on Thursday or Friday, and then we will uh, do a real quick uh, YouTube video with the iPhone and let you guys know where within the Marriott Marquis that we're going to do our meetup. So we got to kind of scope out the grounds first. So that's how that's going to work. If you have any questions, obviously, before now and then, uh, you write us an email. But we're really excited. I know we've got several people that are already kind of uh, excited about coming down. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to meeting some of you if you happen to be in the area then. So um, what else? Is that it? So uh, Monday morning, uh, we will be, I'll be working on that flag and we'll get the blue and the and the red done on that flag and then we got some really special stuff that's I'm going to be adding to that so it's it's uh, probably Monday Wednesday and Friday are probably going to be all based on that uh, all going to be videos on that project so are you doing those live or no yeah. those aren't live those are you'll see them hopefully if everything goes right you'll see them early Monday morning early Wednesday morning and early Friday morning I generally post around four o'clock in the morning so that's when those will be posted. And then we're, uh, we've got a lot of other great projects and stuff coming up as well. So, again, sorry you guys that you guys that are watching this now that we're trying to do the Facebook thing. Uh, so sorry it didn't work out. Uh, we're yeah, especially gonna, it's the people overseas that are trying to, you know, it's got to be disappointing to them to well, look forward to this. But that's, yeah. that's technology for you. It's not as disappointing. We do what we can do. It's not as disappointing for you as it is for us, believe me. So, um, but we'll try again next month, and we might do a, a live video between now and then. I don't know. We might uh, plan something like that. So, anyway, guys, that is it. Hope you guys uh, had a great weekend, because you'll see this toward the end of the weekend. And uh, we will see you guys on Monday morning. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.